Burgess writes that Oscar Wilde's moral decline is not to be judged in terms of sexual inversion, only as a much more sinful waste of time, talent and affection. And this is what Burgess has to say about Lord Alfred Douglas. All the evidence points to a narcissus, stupid when not cunning, a liar, a poseur, and a deplorable poetaster. In the summer of 1935, he wrote a letter to a newspaper complaining that Hopkins's poems, he knew all the work well, he alleged, except the sonnets, did not scan. I, a schoolboy, wrote a furious letter back. I did not know who he was, and my letter was not published. But whoever he was, he was a stupid poseur. I now know that he was much worse than that. Wilde did not see how Bosey was using him in the battle with his father, the Marquis, one of the most detestable aristocrats that England, rich in detestable aristocrats, ever produced. He could not even spell sodomite. 